Welcome back to Katagon. Real quick, if you guys do want to come check out the server, the link will be down below. Upon arrival though, if you are coming for my videos, make sure to type Cold Cold Ref and my name Eggy for a huge starter pack. If you don't know, Katagon is a brand new semi-custom server that is doing amazing lately, peaking at nearly 300 players. Hope to see you guys online. And as well, today's giveaway info is going to be in the pinned comment down below. Rules are on the screen if you want a chance to enter. Either way, hope to see you online, and I really hope you enjoy the video. Yo, real quick, before anything, I want to mention something crazy on Katagon. A full month of events is dropping soon. So, the February events overview. Starting first, February 17th, we have a double XP weekend. On the 18th of February, we have a free AoE day. All players will deal AoE damage without needing any AoE charges. On the 23rd, there is a full double drops day. And on the 24th, we have a Zamorok weekend. Higher drop rate at one of the best bosses in game. Again, this is only the first month, and this kind of started the middle of the month. But the team is going to be trying extremely hard to make a ton of events super active on Katagon. Either way, hope to see you online, and I hope you enjoy the video. GL on Silver Casket Boss. Ended up spending a ton of my cash on a bunch of arrows and a bunch of potions. Max hit at the moment is over a thousand. Damage is cracked. Come on. Good luck, Silver Casket. Eh. Double treasures. Bit of cash. Wait a minute. That treasure scroll, I unlock new rewards from Treasure Hunter. Unlocking different tiers? Wait a minute. What's on here? Alright. Bit more skilling supplies. And another boss slayer task done. 16k points. Holy shit. Good luck on a horror kill. Oh, huge. 30 medium boxes. Gimme, gimme. Back in for a vote boss as well. Claim up drop rate. Good luck on 30. And a monkey king. Honestly, the events on this game are weirdly one of my favorite things about it. Drop rate bananas. Over the Goblin King. Hey, 25 easies. Come on. Bit of grinding items. Eh, 7.5 and 250 tokens. Gimme, gimme. Also from grinding, my primal. 16k each? Wait a minute, that's so much. Also level 69 invention right now. I think I'm gonna do something. My current max hits 1146 right now. 128k. I lied actually, I need 90 invention to- what the fuck? I'm 69! Alright, moving on. Another task done, 10,000 points for a hard, give me that. City gun 60k, but the first drop rate gem is only 325. That's gonna come up really quickly. Especially with my streaking and point bonuses. Either way, next heart is gonna be 60 venonatus, okay. My first ever heart seeker drop of my life. Oh wait, these drop crystals and outfit as well? Wait a minute. Come on, first one. Ten more tokens, I'll take it. Pretty high chances, but these spawn three at a time. And while I'm here, colon colon voted. Another scroll to sell. Ten more tokens, gimme give gimme. Give Bro, these spawn every five You can just sit here and camp every five minutes. Okay, first ever Venonatus task done. 8,500 points for that. Never lucky on a ring drop. Next hard task, 120 fairy archer. In the grinder, got a bit to claim up. Gimme, gimme. Okay, spending... Where the fuck did those go? Even more money on some T5. Because apparently I don't have the level. So in an hour, hopefully I get level 70 off that, and then a ton of XP here. My first ever gold casket boss drop. 10k, 3 tokens, and instance? Yo, that's kind of huge. And it's just free treasure keys. Come on. 4 keys. Trash. Trash. Okay, half a bond. Okay, the other half, let's go. <laughs> gimme, gimme. Huge! 76kc, that is a T6 fairy top. Probably worth about 80k, but again, I'm gonna grind that because I want to level up my invention. I need so many levels if I actually want to enhance my tier 7 and T8 items. Not gonna complain. 139kc for another top. That's gonna be more invention XP, I guess. Wouldn't mind legs or helm to finish log, but anyways. Uh, another task done, another 6k points. Almost 99 Slayer too, huge. Next hard task is 107 Ancient Worm. Yo, I'm spooned. Slayer is actually insane. Another T6 drop, Ancient Worm Boots. Quickly, I believe, into my grinder. Claim up all gets me to level 71, which is huge, because remember, I did spend pretty much all of my cash on a ton of tier 6 to hopefully power level my invention. Again, to actually enhance my T7, for example, I need a bunch of coins and 90 plus invention. 
For T8, I need 99 invention, and that makes my damage increase by so much. So for the meantime, grind boots, 32k. There's a quiver. Vams, boots, gloves, easy enough. Bada bing. Eight current items. Should be a ton of return cash, and hopefully a ton of invention XP. Also into the POS, I want to claim something, 110k. That's kind of special for one very important reason. Votes are well over 100k each at the moment. Right now is honestly the perfect time to vote for Katagon. Remember, every 12 hours, claim yourself a free 100 plus k. The reason why they are so strong though is all four of the new outfits did get added into the shop for 1000 points each. People are going to be saving up, and my ass is going to make a ton of money off of it. Real quick, got another 5k frags, make another 5 bond, and to the shop, another 65k whenever that sells. Also, taking a look at gear, tier 8, the Vorkath bow, which is a massive upgrade from my current bow, is currently selling for about 4 mil. Pretty cheap, and actually really doable to save up cash-wise. Maybe that is my first goal in the account, road to a Vorkath bow? Wait, how did I not know about this? Skilling on Katagon is insane apparently. For example, I've got a ton of sapphires sitting in the bank. Grind these up, each sapphire you can actually claim. These add drop rate to your account, what do you mean? I had no idea. I just scrolled down and saw sapphire, emerald, ruby, diamond, all the way up to dragonstone too. But this is just insane drop rate and like crazy additions to the account too. I haven't even done much on this game honestly and I've got a ton just chilling in the bank. There is so many different ways to get so much drop rate, this is crazy. I'm also being told it's actually really smart too to make an alt skiller because skilling is extremely AFK and whether you're doing woodcutting, runecrafting, mining, smithing, anything like that, all of those not only can make you a ton of money, whether you're making arrows, runes, or you can just straight up trade them over to your account for huge damage boost too. The fact that I've played this game for like 6 days straight, and I'm still learning stuff about it is honestly insane to me. Got about 50 minutes left and then I have a ton of cash coming in too by the way. Either way, current daily tasks I have two very easy ones, kill solar demon and kill blue dragons. Both give bond fragments, treasure keys, cash, and drop rate. It's extremely worth to do your dailies. And, I mean, plus, it's free money, so wish me luck. Anyways, guys, I am going to start wrapping up another video here. Remember, make sure to pop on a Katagon. This server is blowing up lately, and with the consistent updates, this game is addicting. You see myself and a ton of other people super active on here. Remember, I do also stream this server, and I'm also working towards my From Scratch account as well. Either way, hope to see you guys online, and of course guys, don't forget about that massive giveaway, and as always to join mine in the Katagon Discord by using the links down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and later!